Hi, I'm Fran McNeil with a business growth tip. Guess what? As an entrepreneur, a lot of times you're going to be having to do critical work when you're not at your best. And as part of your time management, I really would recommend as one of the things in your strengths back pocket is to identify when you are at your best <laughs> in terms of doing, in terms of writing, in terms of calling, in terms of communicating, in terms of negotiating, in terms of researching, and sort of block out those 20 minute, 10 minute, 45 minute spots on your calendar a week, two weeks, or two weeks bless you, ahead of time. And really kind of pre-program yourself for success. That's one of the things that you can, you can do. Uh, yes, identify what is your 90-day business goal. And you're like, but wait, Fran, you didn't give us a chance to think about that. Right now, before you start talking, write down your 90-day business goal at the top of your sheet, at the top of your SWOT analysis. So in the next 90 days, where do I see myself? What's the goal that I want to have achieved? This is speaking as if we have done all of everything and we're ready to really roll out. Nope, this no? is speaking of as of right now, February 9th, okay. so March, April, May, May 9th, okay. May 10th, yeah. okay, 2010. What's your 90-day goal? So it has to be realistic, specific, action-oriented, kind of work for you, harmonious. It's yours. So you're going to take off a small bite of the apple, not the whole apple. So write down a 90-day goal. And why am I saying that? Because you need to know where you're going. And once you have that written down, Probably a good sentence is less than 12. Get more business growth tips 